4 billion women on the planet. Why are so many people asking questions about relationship advice on Instagram? Type or money? What is your number one piece of advice for men to get girls? One big question, why are so many people asking questions about relationship advice on Instagram? Are you a ladies man? Oh, like, it's, or is it's, this a, what's going on with that? It's the Sundays, so every Sunday I do Sunday's questions and like most of the, the questions are relationship questions. I think it's because I've had two very long term relationships. So I had my first marriage was I think 10 years and then my second one was, uh, was eight years. And, um, and you're only 37. Yeah, so I've, I've, you know, I've been long enough in relationships. I'm on You've my third one now. Yeah, always been. I'm on my third one now. And the first one was Middle Eastern, and the second one was like, you know, normal white Canadian. So like, I, I kind of, you know, tested both out. And so uh, you know the differences between cultures. Yeah. Yeah. So are the questions mostly related to like, what is the difference between this type of girl and this type of girl? There is those questions, 100%. There's the questions where it's like, hey, you know, I, uh, I was talking to this girl and then she uh, suddenly blocked me or like suddenly doesn't answer and I tell him, well, what's really Dude. happening? Yeah. Do we need to even say what's going on? Yeah, you know what's going on. And so what is your number one piece of advice for men to get girls? Like, I'll tell you mine, just to be yourself and be confident. Like, be yourself. Like, act like who you are. Don't act like who you think they want you to be, because eventually they're going to find out who you are. And so what's the point? That's like, okay. Be yourself. Yeah. False, don't fall side of your guy, Whether you're an idiot, just be yourself. Somebody will end up liking you. My number one advice is... Don't get too excited on your first few dates. Like, just relax. Because, mm -hmm. like, you're, a lot of guys are overly eager. Yeah. Women hate that. I agree. What do you think about that, babe? I've got a girl in the background here. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with both. I think that acting yourself is the way you want to go. And I also think that not being too much because it's if you're it's too overwhelming you're just gonna be like yeah you don't, don't be don't be excited anything don't be excited, anything. So be just excited. Be and because like sometimes like, they're so happy that oh that was my first date and oh, so hey how are you you know this just it's, it's like there's, there's like four billion women on the planet if this one goes away it's fine there is a lot more so just have that in your mind and that way you'd be kind of more like indifferent if hey, you know, if you don't like me, that's fine, there's others. And when they kind of get that vibe, that's when they like you more. But when the, when you make them feel like she's like the only one, like that's I have to this has to work. It's not gonna work. You know what some really good advice to is you may not have heard of this. This is how you get a girl. You have to leverage caffeine and fear. And so I'm gonna explain. Let me explain as they say. Okay, and so when you take and consume caffeine, it releases dopamine. And so if you meet, so we have Ali over there. If I have never met her, let's say you guys, you, you meet her, you give her a cup of coffee, strong, lots of caffeine. That's gonna release dopamine, feel good. Every time you see this girl that you like, you give her a cup of coffee, she's gonna associate, wait, wait, wait I feel good. There's dopamine, release. Every time I see this guy, man, we chat, I feel so good about this guy. Add to that some fear. Take her for a race in the McLaren or in the F12. Race faster than last time. The fear is another dopamine, and they're gonna have that sense of, Ooh, that excitement. That's and it. that excitement is the same as that excitement when you meet someone for the very first time. That was a question I had on my psychology exam in like 1996. But that's very clever. So like every I time she sees question. you, it's like every time she sees you, you give her caffeine, she's gonna feel good, and she's gonna associate the feeling good with seeing you. Bang! Be this gone. is, you know what, that, do you watch Seinfeld? I love Seinfeld. Do you remember that the, the part, the, the episode when George said something funny, and then he had to go, and then everyone just kind of... You had to end on a funny note. You had to end on a funny note. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Put the chat. Yeah, that's, that's a, so that's kind of similar. So start with caffeine. Make her feel good. 45 scare minutes. Her. Scare her. Bring her to the exhibition. And Walk her across a bridge. Take her for a race in your McLaren. And 45 minutes. And if you like hit a really good joke and she's like laughing her ass off, you're like, oh shit, I gotta go. And if that doesn't work, be six foot two and rich. That, that, that's, yeah, that, that really helps that, a that, lot. That's easier. Did you know that 85% of women won't date anyone our height? We're I know. Five, six. I know. We're already off the top. 85% won't, won't talk to us. Yeah. But we have the, we have the, the, I mean, the bank account. You know, that helps a lot. Helps but there's still only 15% willing. 
If you're on the dating app and you write five foot six, 85, you can be, you can have eight figures a year. They don't see that you're five foot six. Height would do another Okay, okay. You got it. Height or money? What do you think they would go for? Height or money? I think that if they knew, how much money? McLaren and Ferrari money. They're going for money. They're going for money over six, eight. Okay, there you go. What do you think, babe? I think they're going for money too. Money. Yeah, we're talking like, like we'll, we'll, let's call it Chris Bumstead money so that we don't get no tickets. Chris. <laughs> Chris is already tall and rich. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're going for money at that point over, over height. But I think okay. that height is extremely important in the beginning to attract someone who doesn't get to know you until they know your personality. A lot of people are just shutting you down. Or you just money. show up fucking 5'4 in a McLaren. That's way better than being tall. There you go. But the problem is people are dating on apps. I don't know, like, this is how people date. They don't see or talk. So how do you get to know someone? So if I'm dating a girl, if I was single, if you're out of it, I'm going on some app, I'm gonna swipe until I see a 10, and I'm gonna message 100 10s, I'm gonna write them all, and I'm gonna say, hey, you look really good. Because what personality do you see on the internet? I see nothing, I just go for looks. Then you meet them, and it's like, 99 of you 100 suck, and you're gonna go for personality. So if That's you're true. shorter like us on the internet, no one's going to meet us. You have to go and meet them in person. You're like, yeah, you're short, but like I'm shorter than you. I'm an inch and whatever short, or an inch and a half shorter than my girlfriend. But you go with, it depends on what you want to do. If you want, if you want a long-term thing, don't show up in your return. Take your mom's Honda Civic. And bring coffee. And bring coffee. And with a fun note. And then get the hell out of there. Exactly. We got it right. So there's Relationship 101 with Coach Greg and Mahmoud Elder. Yeah. Got it right. Well, I think that's good. That's good. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, episode. And so please go and follow Mahmoud Aldura. Yes. On his channel, he has both the... Uh, English and Arabic. The English is new. The English is new. He's building it up there. He's a pro bodybuilder. He's 37. And as you can see, he's not going to bullshit you. He's going to tell you exactly what he thinks, just like me. This is what you want. So please go and give him a follow. All right. Awesome. Time to go work out. All right.